Hey, I'm back, and today I want to show you how to use Vibrato in SynthMaster, specifically how to hook up your mod wheel to Vibrato in SynthMaster. So let's get started. Somebody requested this, and they asked me to do it, and I thought it was easy at first, but actually it's more complicated than I thought, so I want to go through this so I can show you, and hopefully this will be on the internet so people don't ask this so much, they can just look at this video. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to do it in SynthMaster 2.9 and SynthMaster 1. So let's start with SynthMaster 2.9. The first thing we want to do is hook up the global LFO to the fine tune. So let me first let you hear this. This is just one MIDI note playing a saw wave. It's a bit annoying. Let me put a filter on there so it's not quite so annoying. Okay. So as I was saying, change the global LFO to SLFO1. Drag this over to the fine tune. I'm going to use bipolar here so it goes both uh, sharp and flat. Okay, now if we listen to it, we should be able to hear some vibrato. That's good, but I want it a little bit faster. So that's okay, but the problem is it's not actually controlled by my mod wheel. And if you see, I've drawn in some MIDI CCs here, and this is on the mod wheel, so MIDI CC1. and. I'm just doing that because my keyboard is broken right now. The mod wheel's jerking all over the place, so this is easier this way. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to hook that up to the mod wheel. So you see here it says source LFO1, or synth LFO1, which I had there. Now we're going to use this via mod wheel. Just right click it, MIDI, mod wheel. Okay. And you can adjust this however you want. Uh, let's do it like that. See how this sounds. So you see it just gradually increases in intensity until the very end it fades out and there's no more vibrato. Which is good, but you might also want to use the speed and hook that up to the mod wheel as well. So. I can do this, right click it, and then instead of going through all the stuff I did before, just go into source and click mod wheel. So now we have another one, the mod wheel is controlling this, but as you see here it's going a little bit too fast, so I want to turn this down. Maybe like that, so you can see there. So this is probably a little bit better, let's hear it. A little bit too much, you need to adjust this a little bit less. So that's closer to what I want. Of course, this isn't like the best sounding patch, but that gives you an idea how you can hook up vibrato in SynthMaster. So, enough of that, let's do SynthMaster 1 quickly. Same thing, initialize a new preset. This one, it, I couldn't figure out how to do this for a while, so I'll show you because it wasn't as intuitive, at least for me. So the first thing I want to do is go into Mod Matrix. Here I'm going to go into LFOs and Vibrato LFO. This is important, I didn't understand this at the beginning. And then I'm going to go to the target, and the target should be Oscillator 1 Fine Tune. And I should move that... I don't know how how much, uh, however much you feel, and then as I move that, it should make a sound now. Let me see. The problem with that is it's not actually hooked up to the mod wheel. So this via do the same things we did in SynthMaster. Hook that up to the mod wheel. Let me do this a little bit more so you can hear it. And then the same thing, we're going to go into MIDI CC1 here. And now we're going to do the speed. I'm oh, sorry. 
You do it down here, not up at the source, but actually, I'm messing everything up. Source should be MIDI CC1 mod wheel. And then here, this should be the vibrato LFO frequency, like this. And if you see it here, it should be the speed. That's way too fast though. Let's slow it down a lot. If you want the initial speed slower, you can adjust it here. Actually, this is good. You can actually see it if you look at the little yellow part here, like this. One more time. So that's how you control the vibrato in Synthmaster. I'll let you see it here. It's easy to see there, so next time if you want to know how do you do it, look, it's right there. It'll show you how to do it yourself. If you have any more questions, leave them below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, and until next time, see you.